What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This is Modern Horizons, and I am your host, Modern Johnny. And I'm opening this pack of Modern Horizons on the Modern Horizons draft stream. It's Modern Horizons Inception. This is a bird, and it's got a beautiful construct on the back. It's a construct, and it's also a bird at the same time. And then we got this lesser Masticor. That's pretty cool. That thing looks terrifying. This one looks much scarier than a tutu. And then for the rare, it is a Blightning Skelemental. It's just called Lightning Skelemental, but it's really Blightning Skelemental. If I, if I lean it down, a lot of times it'll focus. There we go. <sighs> yeah. Let's open a bomb now. That's a good idea. I like I like where your head's at. I want to do what you said. Let me do that thing. Is that a bomb? That card seems good. Let's see what he does. Uh, it's a 6-6 six, six for 7. 7's seven. reasonable. Spells of the chosen type you cast cost 5 less to cast. Is that good? I have no idea if that's good. <laughs> this is the ball I would take. Yeah, we also have Subtle Beyond Reality, which is good. Uh, I mean, it's a seven-seven. I think it's probably. I think it's probably takeable. I don't. I don't think it's etchings. I think. I don't think etchings is that good. This is literally just a, a, a stronger etchings. Pyro is the safer pick. I don't know if that's true. Like, this seems safer because it's colorless. You can play this in literally any deck you play where as this commits you to red or not playing it. Yeah, I'd rather just take the big 7. 6-6, six, six, fat idiot. And see how that goes. Ooh, Trumpeting Herd. Mob is also pretty good. We can name Angel and then get a bunch of 1-1s. One Make them 2-2s. Two I like Trumpeting Herd, and I also like Mob. I think Trumpeting Herd's better in this format. That's been my experience. Like, Mob is cool, but it's just like a one removal spell. I don't know, man. Magic's hard. You guys ever play Magic before? This game's hard, dude. I want to take the Trumpeting Herd. Ooh, Prismatic Vista. Savage Swipe is a nice one. That is a nice, a nice little pickup. Igneous Elemental is good. Quake, Quaker Steak Giant is good. Oh, that's a Cyclops. There's not, there's not that much. There's really not that much bounce. There's only like two bounce cards. One of them is an uncommon, I believe. Thank you. Badger, what's going on, buddy? Welcome back. Really appreciate the resub. You are awesome. Imagine playing the first sliver for zero. Oh, that would be disgusting. If we get a first sliver, I'm definitely taking it. And we're definitely comboing with that nonsense. I'm going to take the Savage Swipe. That's a good card. Thundering Jin is nice. This guy only costs three when we have more fawn out. Oh, man, that's sick. That's sick. Can we get a bunch of Iceberg Cancrixes and mill them out? Because we know that there's... um. Yeah, the Djinn is sick here. Yeah, I don't know where we're I don't know what direction we're heading in, but Yeah, have you guys seen the face on this guy? He's got like a really he's got like a uh like a handlebar mustache and it's just it's really he's just really he's just really beautiful. He's just he's beautiful, it's true. I saw your face on Morphon's body. It was creepy too. Na, 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 na. Is it Fountain Vicar or is it Spring Bloom Druid? Hmm. These are the questions we're asking ourselves here. I guess it's Spring Bloom Druid. Don't think we're defiling. We'll probably be pondering. I can see us pondering. 
Yeah, that card seems good. I also like the blue-green deck, and if we're playing blue-green, we can just splash this off our red. Wow, another Cordial Vampire. Oh, we're taking this Or Scale Guardian for sure, right? Or is it Savage Swipe, A? Eh? It might be Savage Swipe. It might just be Mono Savage Swipes that deck. Once M20 is released, can I get you to play my build of Jund Escape Shift with Dread Presence for standard? And, and obviously, yes, dude. Obviously, for sure. I would love to. Uh, God, this guy's so good. Yeah, I'm going to take this guy. Cultivator seems decent. Maybe uh, I get my happy choice on. I don't know. Maybe. Let's take this guy. Um, Snow-covered mountain could be good. I don't think we're on any kind of snow-covered shenanigans here, though. I like regrowth, though. I'll take regrowth. Regrowth is just your best card, right? And this is what I was hoping would come back so that we can mill them out. But uh, I don't think I don't think it's happening. Winter's rest. Uh, white and red, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm game. Oh, fountain came back. Hmm. You know, my favorite part about Frank's stream is he sings James Blunt the whole time. It's amazing. you beautiful. Did they fix this? It looks like they fixed it. They're like, okay, we can't deal with the influx of complaints. That was a last pick Savage Swipe. Are you insane? It's plus one plus one for each color among other legendary permanents you control. So she's probably not going to get anything. Search out for legendary permanent cards in the house less than Sissy's. Yeah, okay, that's. N I was like, I got excited about it because I'm like, ooh, that seems cool for our deck, because we got we'll have two two cards with uh, with domain on them. I like to pretend you're singing it to me. Why pretend? Feaster of fools. I think it's just exclude. Exclude is so strong. Not even a huge fan of James Blunt. Just really like must love Jaws. I don't even know what that is. I don't think many, I don't know how many people are, are huge fans of James Blunt, to be honest with you. I didn't think it was, I, I thought that was the joke that like, yeah, I'm breathtaking, it's true. Okay, so this pack's interesting. We could take another Aura Scale Guardian, which is very, very strong. We could take another Druid. We could take a Talisman, or we could take a Reign of Revelation. You've never seen Must Love Jaws? No, I have not. I've seen Must Love Dogs with Janine Garofalo. Is it another Druid? Funny. She doesn't look Druish. Hogak. Hogak. Maybe it's another Pondering Mage. Oh, Talisman of Creativity seems much better than Talisman of Conviction. Let's take that. Hmm. I like both these guys, and I like Marasa Behemoth. Let's take the Behemoth. I think Behemoth is actually stronger. Especially because I lose to it so frequently. Womp, womp, womp. <sighs> Tree time amateur. Saddle rhyme stag is good, but we have like very few. Oh, a creature under the battlefield? Yeah, sure, we got that. We got that in spades, my boy. 
Um, two sorcery cards with Nor ah, God, this card is so bad. Maybe it's just Igneous Elemental. Yeah, Igneous Elemental seems very good. Easy Ambusher? I don't, I don't think it. I mean, Igneous Elemental seems great when we have double Spring Bloom Druid to play this on turn four. And Tuco Cultivator seems pretty okay. Hunter, stop! God, he just keeps licking himself. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, man. I don't have any any snow mana yet. It might just be Cultivator. Like, all I'm hearing is like chomp, chomp, chomp. I'm on here like. And I'm like, oh my god, you need to stop. I think Elvisher is actually very, very strong. Uh, spiders. Oh, Ray Revelation. Yes, Reign of Revelation seems great. Is this pack three? Is this pack two? Hi, I'm not okay with any of this. <laughs> I just want that on record. None of that was good, friends. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's sad. Do we, have, do we seriously have another pack? This is unbelievable. Our deck seems amazing. Uh, this card's not good. Get out of my deck. This card's not good yet. Get out of my deck. What's the holdup here? Am I still alive? Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a Mike B. No escape from Mike B. Uh, we already have a fountain. I think we want the snow covered forest. Oh, excavating aneurid's nice. Uh, wow, look at this. Look how much... Did you see how much time I had to pick? Okay. Oh, Factor Fiction? Oh, Foffy Boy? Yeah, that seems like a pretty easy pick. Yeah, we're taking Foffy Boy. Incoming 15 auto picks. <laughs> like, it, like the pack just like literally goes down like one second each. Mirrodin Besiege seems pretty bad. Whenever you cast an artifact, spell create a 1-1. One, one. Okay, so no. At the beginning of your end step, draw... Yeah, okay, that's the one with, like, if you have 10 artifacts. 15 more artifact cards in your graveyard? All right, well. This guy's fine, right? You just draw a card? I don't think I want another 4-drop just yet. Hunter, I swear to God, if you keep licking your 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 butt, I'm gonna be I'm gonna rage, my friend. I'm gonna rage. I got real excited because I thought we got past this in a actual draft, but apparently, no. Is this still good though? Return to land? Nah, it's not good, right? Crows and Tusker seems great though. I've never seen it before. There you go. There he is. I'm going to take Cross and Tusker. 
right? Well, I feel like it's a little late to be picking up a bunch of cycle lands in the last pack when they're uncommon. But we do have double spring bloom druids. We have factor fiction. Maybe it's decent. No, we we'll got Tusker. Wow, the next very next pack is like, oh, here's a land for you, you stupid idiot. Thank you. I appreciate it. Immediately punished. No hesitation. Eh, I'll just take Treetop Ambusher. I think it's actually fine. Mox Tanta Squirrel Nest. What if we're playing like 18 lands in this deck? I could see it. I could see it. Um, Mox Tantalite's interesting. Turn one Mox. I think it's probably Squirrel Nest. Typical green, guys. Uh, I'm going to take this Trumpeting Herd, I guess. Whenever this is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to our player or plants. It's just not... Why is that rare? We also have Cultivator, too. So if the... Uh, if the Renin 6 does come back, it's pretty interesting. Tranquil Thicket. Immediately punished. Immediately punished again. Another Spring Bloom Druid. I'll take Spring Bloom number three, I guess. Come on, someone's got to be like, we're running six, this card's terrible. And by someone, I mean all seven of them. That's what we need to happen. Whoa, yeah. Oh, yeah. Frostwall can come out. That's actually great. We got two Cycle Lands now. We have two Spring Bloom Druids. We have an Anurid and an Antigua Cultivator. That's actually pretty cool. What is the ultimate? You get an emblem. Instant sorcery cards in your graveyard have retrace. All right. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> sure. Out, out. I'm pretty sure they fixed the issue immediately after my email. I think they got my email and they were like, oh, shit, we got to do something about this. Frank's getting upset. And I was like, yeah, fix it. So we need like four more cuts in this deck? Yikes. Bellowing Elk maybe. We have 15 creatures and we also have one Trumpeting Herd so it's like 16 creatures. All our creatures are very good. These are some of the best creatures I've ever seen. Oh, I'm going to go back tonight and look at all the different drafts that I did where I didn't, uh, where the pick issue happened. And then I'm going to re request refunds for the for most of them because, like, it's definitely been a, a negative playing experience for the past two weeks. Um, I don't think Snowcover Forests are relevant. There's still 25 cards. And we can actually could cut. We could cut Fountain. I could see cutting Fountain just because we have Double Springleaf Druid. Uh, I don't really care about Treetop Ambusher that much in this deck. And we just play 18 lands. I think or uh, 41 cards. I think that's actually fine. Seven. This is 755, five, five, which I think is okay. We don't have any double red cards except for like way down the line. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can add one more blue. All right, 41, let's do it. Also, we could cycle one of these on like turn two or turn one and then get it back on turn two. That seems good. Even if you're just like drawing an extra card every turn with Forgotten Cave. Yeah, this is fine. Any third land and we have Spring Leaf Druid and Spring Bloom Druid rather. And uh, Tusker and Exclude, so that's a solid amount of action. Well, there's no action yet, though. Here you go. Ready? 18 lands. No third land drop. In typical Magic Online fashion. Let's open a pack while we're... While we started this match. But now it's too late, because now we're in it. I think we're just getting rid of an island and we're getting actually we can just go to forest and get forest and mountain i want to have two mountains for this guy and we don't need two forests for anything else yet that seems good oh we're playing against hipster jace cool he was probably he probably won this game before it was cool elemental and a soldier at the same time. Look at, that, look at that green screen effect in that soldier. It almost looks foil. And then this is a waterlogged grove by your boy John Avon. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And the rare? Oh my god. Is a foil squirrel nest. Come on. There we go. That's what we're looking for. And an altar of dementia. That's not super exciting, but it is. Uh, it is a card. That's that's a. It is a card. I kind of just want to play Reign of Revelation here to get land drops. Oh God, why are you like this? Hmm. We can't put anything on the board yet. If we play this, we're going down to five cards. We're drawing through. We're going to eight. We're discarding one. We're going to seven. And then we're playing a land, so we should stay at six. Which I think is fine. Okay, I like it. Um, pitch you, play you. And now we have two lands in the graveyard. Seems good. I'll take that altar of mention since you aren't too thrilled for it. Sign, please. Wow. You guys are scavengers. Oh, man. If they have one more mana, they can equip this guy, too? That's aggressive. That is aggressive. One, two, three, four, five. This guy costs five? Well, I don't think we're ever playing this. I think I'd rather just uh, cycle it. So now he costs four. I think I'd probably just rather exclude here. Because they're putting a four one out. Yeah, I think we're just going to hold up exclude. Because next turn we can still play this for four and keep up exclude as well. Uh, well, you're going to... No, because you're going to do the thing. You're going to play this guy and equip it so it's like six damage. And I'm not about that. I'm not about that six damage life, all right, buddy? So one, two, three, four... Play Cultivator. Discard two lands. Play this guy for two. Uh, 
Wow, this deck is sick. Combo! I'm going to equip my sword, you see. You got it. You got it, buddy. Hitting lands is good, okay? Black and from red. The problem is if they sacrifice a thing, they're attacking for six. Thankfully, we have no planeswalkers or, uh, or artifacts. But one thing we can do is play a little Annie. One, two, three, four, five... Hey, it's little Annie. Subalba. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's nice. Play old Rhymey McStaggerson. Get our fight on. Yep, that'll do. All right. This game was not relatively close. Could have been. Wasn't. Wasn't close. What did they play? They got that little artifact boy? Yeah. Well, I don't have anything that cares about that. I'm just going to submit. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. I got a Ren and Six that I can just keep plussing. Maybe they'll play a one toughness. One one toughy boy. Maybe we'll draw a cycle. Oh my god, this deck is doing it all, dudes. Shut up and take my Lucky, 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 lucky. Felix, one signed Ultra of Dementia, please. <laughs> Oh god, am I obligated to give it to you now? I don't even know what it's going for. How does it feel to always have it? I don't know. You're going to have to ask someone who always has it. I mean, they're just going to go turn three via Shino guy and kill him, so. They're basically going to prevent four and draw a card, which is fine, but not the most exciting thing you can do. Also, joke's on you guys. This is a Nambo. Oh my god, they just cycled it because they didn't have the land. They did have it, but they didn't have the third land. They're just going to concede here. Oh, they're not going to hit a land, and it's just going to be over. Wow. Wow, that's... <sighs> I'm about to bust. That's brutal. That was... A, what that was what's known as La Bloodbath. You not only had it, but you gave them your land powers. We're going to use powers. We're going to use powers loosely. Hold on, let me edit this... Uh... Let's let's uh let's fix this so that you can see my my beautiful visage. So I was like That's better, right? That's good. So now I'm like Okay, we're doing it. Perfect. Perfect! I'll keep this hand. Look, we got a Planeswalker and a Mythic. What what can possibly go wrong with this hand? I hope they just play a bunch of one-toughness creatures and I can just machine gun them away. They went to six? Okay. I told them to stay frosty. Oh my god. God. Oh, that's unbelievable. Jesus. Holy mother. <laughs> so
like a land endurance. <laughs> oh lord, we're doing it. Yep. What is the, he's like, what is this you're playing? Is this a constructed deck? I'll be like, you know, it's close. I'll take this one. That's some good value right there, man. Ren and six is basically like draw an extra card every turn. Pay one mana, draw an extra card every turn. And now we're about to see some true Frank value. Never didn't he never didn't have it oh i forgot i totally forgot i have yet to do a, i have to do a nature uh stipulation like a nature documentary stipulation where i do the voice you know you know the voice yeah you guys know <sighs> i can ping that you're right oh god oh they're just gonna oh they're gonna give a plus oh there this is Oh man, their desperation is so real right now. Okay, so we can't play any of these. Oh, that's really not what I wanted to do. Oh. Well, that's actually pretty good. I almost want to leave this in the graveyard because then we can cast this guy next turn. If we don't have this in the graveyard, we can't. So I'm actually just going to leave it in there. And then next turn, we'll just play Igneous Elemental. That seems like a uh, solid song. What else do you need to draft with real packs? I want to see a non-fan. Uh, what else do you need? I mean, I don't necessarily need anything, right? Because I'm like, I have the ticks for it. But I just didn't want to waste the 25 tickets on on the on the the draft, you know. Oh, they didn't do anything? Alright. Alright, well, as you can see, Frank keeps drawing cycle lands. It's very exciting. He's going to play an igneous elemental, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? He's going to shoot this little soldier, and then he's going to go to the garbage can. And now he just drew another card. It's absolutely unbelievable to value. We can go Nantuko Cultivator next turn, make a 4-4, draw two cards off the Cultivator, and then rip a land back. Holy smokes. Ooh, Foil Rhino. Foil rhinoceros boy. Come on. Come on, daddy needs to focus. Daddy needs his focus, you see. All right, whatever. I don't care anymore. Oh, boy. Give me a land. Oh, I was really hoping for a land there. One, two, three, four. Cultivator. Cultivator. Drop these two. Boop, boop. Wow, I really thought we'd draw a land there. Uh, I guess we're just going to play it. What are we playing here? Probably the greeny boy. And I guess we're going to play it. And I guess we're attacking for four. So Ren and Six is probably dead next turn, but I think we've got a good amount of... They have two cards in their hand. I think the amount of value we've gotten off of them is pretty significant. Here's a Throat Seeker for you guys. That's how I feel in this draft right now. I'm seeking them throats. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that guy's going to come down. He's not going to be able to kill anything. It is going to trigger the angel. The angel's going to kill Ren and Six. Just as we assumed. And the rare in this pack? It is a universal automaton foil. Followed by a plain bound accomplice. Okay. Well, can't win them all. Ren and Six hath died. Ooh, would you look at that? One, two, three, four, five. We are one land away from just casting Morphon. Uh, we could play this guy and just get in there with everybody. They take eight. We could also take Anurid. All I want is all I want is land. All I wanna do is draw some lands. I got a feeling. Lands. All I wanna do is the lands. Uh, is this song any good, guys? Is this, uh... What are we naming with Morphon? Morphon, Morphoth. The Morphon. I don't know, probably Frog Beast. 
Insect druid, dry, like all our creatures are different. The song is more informational than good. Elvish Fury. Hell hath no fury like an Elvish Fury. Alright, I guess we're gonna just attack. If we attack and then we can double Elvish Fury to put them to one. Boy. That's a good one. I mean, we're not gonna do that because we're not idiots. Do we stack a land here? Baby. I think we're going to sack a land just because we're going to draw a land. Oh, we didn't draw a land. Shoot. Shooty biscuits. What does that mean? I don't know. Nobody knows. I'm feeling pretty far ahead right now with my double four fours on board. So, yeah, they're just dead, right? Whatever they don't, they go to six, but whatever they don't block, we plus two, plus two. These games have been so close. That doesn't feel accurate. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, we actually don't even need to block here. We could actually, oh, this is actually, we could Ray of Revelation in response if they block here. And that fills our graveyard, and then it gives him plus one, plus one. What are we discarding? Doesn't matter. Probably not. Pondering Mage. One of two Pondering Mages. Uh, it doesn't have Trample, though. All right, we'll just finish the game. I don't really want to show them this, though. But I don't care. I'd rather just end the game, I guess. God, that was such a still... That's such a still had all these moment. I feel really stupid now. I don't want to be that guy who's like, <laughs> I'll pump this guy even though I'm going to kill you right now. I don't want to be that guy. But I still won the game. And our deck is pretty monstrous. <sighs> sort by rarity. These are only these are only mythics. Wow, we have a lot. We have ten uncommons in our deck. We have one with eight cards in hand. Is that good? Is that is that good? I don't know. Is that good? Until the sun comes on over Santa Monica Boulevard. What is this, Cheryl Crow? It's a good jam. The sun and the moon. All I wanna do. I'm looking for that foil uh, foil sword that we that we looked at earlier. You guys ready for it? Oof. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at the sword itself shine. Look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, this hand's actually fantastic. Is it play or cast? Oh, you put the card in your hand. Okay. I was like, can you play it or cast it? Because if it was if it was cast, then you can't do lands. If it's play, you can do lands. But I automatically associated this guy with Sheldock Isle, and not uh, Hideaway is just putting looking at four cards and doing one with doing a thing with one of them. <sighs> Little known fact: she is not actually a crow. Uh, do you have proof of that? Oh, they went to six. I cannot believe you have done that. All right, now we're doing it. I do, but it's under lock and key. Wow, that's, that's aggressive. Orky boy. Meh. What are we hitting? What are we hitting here? Um pretty sure we just want the behemoth no 
Well, we got a bunch of big stuff, actually. We can take Druid here. Because if they end up killing this, we just get to play it next turn. We could also Savage Swipe and trade. Oh, what a good deal. Yeah, you pay that Echo. If this is a 2-2, two -two, the, the uh, Savage Swipe could actually be decent because then this becomes a 4-3 uh, and survives. But as it stands, no bueno. Little rhymy stag, come on down. Do your job. Do your job, rhyme stag. This is the, like the, the least explosive start we've had with this deck, and I think it's still pretty decent. Alpine Guide. Alpine Grizzly Guide. Wow, that's rude. That's really rude. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, biscuits. All right, so we're going to go one, two, three... Spring Bloom. We need a second red, but we also need a second blue. So we're actually going to get rid of a red. We'll get a red and a blue. We don't need a second green. But now we can cast Pondering Mage next turn. Or if we hit a land of this guy. Or this guy. All I want to do is have some fun. Wow. Double Alpine God. Well, we hit another land. So now we can actually go Pondering Mage. And then swipe this guy because he's just obnoxious. However, if they do have a trick, um, this is actually fine to keep, I think. We can actually go uh, Forest, Druid, Morphon. Don't shuffle. Don't have plus two, plus two as your last card. Just don't. Don't make me, don't make me regret. Don't. Okay, cool. Now you got to sacrifice a mountain. Seems good. Okay, nice. So, we now know that they probably don't have a trick. Can we see that sword again? <laughs> For sure. I forgot where I put it in the stack. Oh no, I found it. Okay, we found it. I guess uh just look at it. Okay. Alright, fine. God, you guys are so picky. Hold on. Look, look now, look with no green screen, okay? Thank you. Look at that. It's beautiful. Uh, what just happened? So they sacked their guide. This is an interesting choice. Pretty sure we're just playing or scale guardian here. Next turn we can play Morphon. We're at eight. I don't really feel like dying to like them playing a guy and attacking, them playing a guy and attacking, so. Shh. 
shit. <laughs> wow, that's so much worse. That's so much worse than what I was expecting. Uh, well, we're gonna block here because no floats. Good lord. Yeah, that's bad. How are we not dead here? What can we draw that keeps us alive? We can factor fiction to try to hit a, another savage swipe. But really, other than dodging them playing creatures, that's probably all we can do. This does not have reach. We got another green in hand. Actually, we can try to hit exclude as well. We need swipe or exclude, I think. Elvish Fury is not going to do it. I mean, theoretically, they could just not hit one as well. Yeah, whenever you have like 7-7s seven or 8-8s eight or 10-10s, ten I'm like, why aren't you, why don't you have reach? <laughs> They're lazy and don't want to reach up, I suppose. Yeah. You know, I guess that's probably what it is. I guess we choose pile one. Cultivator is great, but I don't foresee us. Just don't hit a creature, I guess. It's got a red and a green. We're gonna attack here because even if they have removal, it's still two damage. Like, oh, they have firebolt in their graveyard too. Well, uh, okay, pyrohemia is fine, but now we're dead too. What? Why would you? Sure. <laughs> like, why even bother? Just, just kill me. I kind of like Thornado against that guy, but that's the only card we saw that even... What up, Chris? Welcome back. Penumbra, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Chris, thank you so much for the resub. I love you, buddy. You are awesome. I think our deck is fine. Tornado for more. Oh, yeah, we saw like one flying creature, and it's not even a a regular flying creature. Uh, yeah, this hand seems good. We ain't even gonna cycle this. Uh, they are the same value for me, yes. Twitch Prime, a, a subscription is a subscription when it comes to Twitch. So as long as we hit a fourth land, we can start playing our big fat boys. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to get a red and a blue here. Sacrifice the red, get a red and a blue. Oh, we can't get both, though. That's sad. We can actually sacrifice the green. And that means any land lets us play either one of these. Yeah, let's do that. Because we have more green than anything else. And, uh... At the very least, we have this guy next turn. And we have Factor Fiction to cast to get, to get lands in hand. So I'm pretty okay with that.
That's pretty good. <laughs> Dang, they didn't fall for it. Wow, are you really giving me, like, f f this hot pile up here? That seems pretty good. Choose pile one for sure. And pass. Oh my god, these these guides, man. I like this because we can go uh, aneurid into... No, we can't. We don't have the... We can go ponder mage in to kill one of these guys. <gasps> That's exciting. That's exciting. One, two, three. We can actually go igneous elemental deal, deal one with Ren and six. Okay, well, we're definitely playing land here. They have five cards in hand, but no white sources, which is pretty good for us. Oh yeah, definitely. No attacks. I mean, my my fear is that they're gonna goat nap this and they're just gonna attack with both. We're gonna block one. Ren is gonna die. Boost pudding. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. That's also good. Yep. I mean, our hand is still pretty loaded. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have two lands. This guy costs five. I'd really like to actually be able to keep up exclude here, but alas. You can also just play this guy. One, two. Seven lands. If we hit another land, we can excavating aneurid or pondering mage and exclude if it's an island. Yeah, this is actually totally fine. Sure. 
sure. Well, that's just fine. Oh, I like that. Oh, not only does it trade with this guy, but like we can also keep up exclude. Wow, that's great. Wow, that's a that's a backbreaking draw. Here comes a white mana. Planes right on time. Maybe not. Nay. Whoa, what was that? Weird. Are they double firebolting? Are they gonna they're gonna pyrohemia and firebolt? Pyrophobia. I call this pyrohemia a lot. Pyrohemia is the um is the pestilence one, right? I still remember that game where my opponent had uh two of these suspended and they passed right through their thing so they couldn't uh five got him I think we're way ahead. I think we are way ahead. This is a three Alpine guide deck. Wow. Yeah, I'm just countering this. Oof, that's exciting. Ribbit. Yo, can I get a ribbit ribbit? Yeah, we're just going to play Jin here. Eh, do we need to play anything? I don't think we actually need to play anything. I don't want to get goat napped. Yeah, I'm just passing here. Yeah, we have three lethal threats on board. We don't need to play anything else here. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Are you playing MTG Arena? Did they board into a mono red deck? So I don't want to get goat. Hey, man, I don't want to get goat napped, okay? Is it not going to say my things? Come on. Dang it. Dang it. Whatever. I All right. Well, cool. I'm trying to say good games. One Frosty Walrus. Good games. Good games. I'm sorry that Magic Online is kind of meh. Oh, let's open this pack in between the la rounds. Construct and a uh, shapeshifter. Ooh, okay. And then we got this uh, this scour all possibilities. Wow, that thing looks ridiculous with the green screen. Thank you. Literal Doctor Strange. Apivar, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Uh, and then we got this snow covered swamp covering a ooh a snow covered a foil snow covered plains covering. An Aria of Flame. Okay. Okay. I feel like there's got to be at least one more Mythic in this box, right? We have one, two, three, seven, seven more packs.
but here we are. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't think it worked. How much is what's a what's a foil uh, what's a foil snow covered planes going for? What is this hot? hot daddy going for sixteen bucks Woo. this set is unbelievable did you get a foil in every pack no definitely not I think probably like maybe half the packs. No, maybe like a third. I would say a third of the packs I got foils in. What does it say the ratio is? Uh, yeah, it says 1 in 67. That doesn't seem right. Is it 1 in 67 cards? Premium card? It's, oh, 1 in 167 cards. So that's about 1 in every 4 packs. Uh, this hand seems great. I will keep it. All right, this is where we lose, but that's fine. We've had a good run. Our deck is sweet. We're doing sweet things. Boom. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Where's my other cycle land? Hungry Howie Bot. Is that your stomach going hogak? Sounds like it needs some flavored crust to satisfy that hunger. Hungry Howie's is the is on the horizon of all your modern appetite needs. Wow, that's... <laughs> that's incredible. I will take one whole damage from this little bird. Wait, do you have no, that's just a no, that's just a meme. Wow, I see. All my life choices have have led to this moment. We could rent in 6 to pick this guy off and then block here. That's actually pretty all right. We don't have anything else to do. Okay, we'll do that. And then next turn we go Cultivator, get one of the lands back that we put in the graveyard. Yeah, I like that a lot. Kapew! And then we're just hoping they don't kill this, right? All right, buddy. Don't do anything crazy. That guy's annoying. Give me a land. I actually want to draw a land so I can make this cultivator a 4-4. Four, four. Thank you. Draw a card, draw a card, and then you draw a card. Wish we had another island so we could cast this Pondering Mage, but... What can you do? If we get to just go... Are you streaming this, Jank? You know it. <laughs> Buddy, you better believe I am. Yeah. <laughs> 
God damn it. Oh, we have a good time. I have no idea who the opponent is. We're having a good time. Okay, that's fine. I accept. Oh no, that's just enough to kill my, my Ren and my Six. My Rocket and Groot. I mean we really want to hit a, a blue source and then we got then we got then we're set up. I mean our board is actually still pretty good. But I really want to hit something that we can play next turn. Even if we hit like I would I'd also be okay with a, obviously a five drop as well, so. Why don't you have reach and into a cultivator? Why don't you have reach? Watch, it's gonna be the seven mana dragon. You ready? In before seven mana dragon. Oh, well, that is a blue source. It's literally the only thing we can cast this turn, so we might as well cycle it and see what we hit. Let's get a blue source. Oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Wow, that's rude. Nope. Yup. And... I was really hoping for a uh, savage thing there. We got Druid, Wizard, Beast, meh. This card's gonna get out of hand, but what can you do? The pre-release packs for Core Set 2020 will have two stamped promo cards, that's a lot. And the second one will have a 25% chance to be a Japanese alternate art Planeswalker card. That sounds insane. That's gas, dude. That's gas. Okay, so we're definitely bringing in Thornado in this matchup. This is an elk, human wizard. You're a wizard. <laughs> yeah, 100% blocking this guy. Yeah, they played this guy and then this guy, so they could have actually gotten the counter on this guy if they played the other way, but magic's hard, man. Magic is a hard game. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. I think we just play Morphon here. One, two, three, four. We can play Nantuka Cultivator, discard two lands, make a four, four, and then keep the exclude. But I think this card is actually going to single-handedly kill us. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just going to play Island here. We're going to play Morphon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably just going to name... What's in our deck? We have another mage, probably human. So now we can block here. We'll take one, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh, this card's just really good. I wasn't impressed with it the first time I saw it. Oh, Biscuits. Yep, that'll do. 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. You got it. You got it. Yep, Thornado's definitely coming in. We can take the Morphon out in this matchup. Morphon out's, Morphon's been cute, but a little uh, a little expensive. I would bring in this Winter's Rest, but we only have like two Snow Permanents. Is this guy a Snow Permanent? He's a Snow Creature. That's pretty much it, though. We also have two Savage Swipes that we just didn't see, so... That's fine. Yep, this would be great if we had another land. All right, yeah, it's fine. I accept. Yeah, 
the bottom you. You're not exactly what we're looking for here, so. Sorry, I didn't get that. Please try again. No, I won't try again. Snow covered advantage? I have no idea what that is. I think you just made that up. I think you did imagine it. Oh god, any land in this hand just explodes. But that's not gonna be how it goes. I feel like we this is, I feel like our deck is great, but we've gotten a little lucky up until now, and uh Okay, well, they didn't ninjutsu anything, which is nice. Yes! Let's get uh, let's get a red and probably a blue, I guess. Uh, this is like the easiest trade I've ever made in my life, I think. No chance I'm not trading with a changeling for like this spring bloof druid. Uh, right now we're gonna go talisman into druid number two. This guy gonna get excluded? Spell snuff, sure. You got it. Get rid of an island, pretty easy choice. Play this. So next turn we have Behemoth, which is nice. That's annoying. I feel like we're a little too far behind. I don't have two forests. You're right. Biscuits. I can't cast any of these creatures. That's so sad. Ah. And this is how we died. One two, three. I guess we'll cycle this. Yeah, that's pretty bad. When it first came out, they said you could use snow-covered lands in some form as long as you were not trying to gain snow-covered advantage. That's interesting. I don't even know what that means. Hmm, 
this seems like it's going to be hard to get out of. It's not looking good for our hero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Like, even if we play this guy, we still take 1, 2, 3, 4 next turn. And that's assuming they don't play anything else of value here. Hmm. Yeah, that guy's good. So we're basically dead on board, right? We block this guy, we take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Even if we kill a 1-1, one, one, we still take 8. Yep, this is what I was, I was... I mean, I basically predicted this happening, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Play this guy, we'll sack a mountain. If we had one more green, we can actually Savage Swipe and play Rhyme Stag, which would be very, very nice. Uh, as it stands, though, we can probably just Savage Swipe. Which gets rid of what? We block here, we take one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, what does this guy do? Exile a creature card from your each opponent loses two life. This guy actually seems better to kill. Uh choose target creature you control, get rid of this guy. Yep. Alright, well. It's not looking good. But we're holding on. We are trying to hold on. It's not ideal. That'll do. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's the end. Man, our deck is super sweet, but unfortunately. Yep. Still 2-1, not too bad. I think that deck was fun. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on manatraders.com. You can find the link and promo code in the description for 20% off your first three months of any subscription. And you can check out uh, coolstuffinc.com where you will get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. Definitely check those links out. You can also check out the article I wrote last week about uh, modern the modern format. And uh, the modern, the impact that Modern Horizons has had on it. Uh, leave a comment on that article if you if you'd like. I really appreciate it. Helps me out. Helps you out. Doesn't help you out. But it makes you feel good about yourself. Like you did something. You gave back. But uh, yeah, definitely check that out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.